Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm excited to introduce the brand new Easy Mode feature on Image R. Navigate to the Image R website, link is also in the video description, scroll down and click the Easy Mode button. This will open a new modal where you can upload your image by clicking the Upload button and selecting the file you wish to prepare. On the next screen, you'll be able to crop your image to remove any unnecessary areas. When done, we have to set the engraving size. Since I'm using a compound lens on my 80-watt CO2 laser, I'll use 318 dpi. Next, choose the material you'll be engraving on. In this case, I want to engrave on birch plywood, so I'll select wood. Now we have the final result, and it already looks fantastic, especially considering we started with a very dark image. Because my CO2 laser performs best with images that have minimal dark areas, I use the Lighten Image button to brighten the result slightly without altering it too much. You can click this button multiple times, and each click lightens the image by a small amount, which means the effect is stackable. If your image is too light, for example, if it's mostly white, you can balance it using the Darken Image button. In our case, that won't be necessary. When you're ready to download, click the Download button. You'll see two options appear, Dithered and Grayscale. Selecting Dithered will download the image in black and white, created with small dots. Choosing Grayscale will download a version in Grayscale which is useful if you plan to use another image mode in Lightburn. With a single click, you can let us know if the image was good and useful, or if it wasn't. We're always working to improve easy mode based on your feedback. By clicking Preview with Material, you can also see how the result will visually appear on your chosen surface. For certain materials, like wood, you'll have multiple types to choose from such as alder, birch, beach, and more. Now let's switch to our laser software and import the prepared image. Don't be alarmed if it appears a little pixelated at first, that's simply due to the high DPI setting, which most monitors can't fully display all at once. If you zoom in or out, it will look just fine. Because I want to cut the image out after engraving, I draw a rectangle with the exact same size as the image and center both elements in the middle of the page. For my 80-watt CO2 laser, I use specific settings for birch plywood. If you're also using the dithered file, make sure to enable Pass Through, that's very important. To cut plywood without creating burned edges, I use these values. Now let's begin the task. As you can see, we're getting beautiful brown tones and nice dark colors without any deep burns. This is exactly what we want. After the engraving, I use a soft brush to gently remove any residue. And that's it. Another stunning image engraved onto birch plywood. Let's try another image. Since the preparation process is exactly the same, I'll skip that part. This time, it's a deer, and it looks absolutely incredible. It almost looks like a real photo instead of just a laser engraving. This engraving took about 35 minutes, and the size is 16 by 16 centimeters. I hope this video showed you the potential of the new Easy Mode feature on Image R. I wish you lots of success and fun as you test it out. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.